Hello and welcome to another Raggy's beer review, but a very special beer review because it's my very last Adnams beer from my from my holiday down to Caister uh, um, on Sea, uh, just outside of Great Yarmouth. Went down to South Road, Adnams country, for the day. Had an amazing day. Had a lot of amazing beers. I picked up a lot of amazing beers. Truly. Uh, one of the high spots of my year. Um, really like this brewery. I've really grown to admire what they do, where they are. And from Raggy's Bay Reviews, absolutely love the South World part of the country. Soul Bay Inn, uh, Swan Hotel and Tap Room, and the other pub on the seafront that we went in and walked back out again because it was a bit busy. Um, so this is Adnam's Dark Winter Brew, Old Ale, first brewed in uh, 1890, only 4.1% manager. So it says here, based on an old recipe dating back to 1890, a mild ale style beer, dark red brown in colour with an aroma of caramel and nutty chocolate. Wow, a raggy beer all over. And yeah, um, unlike a lot of breweries you see, and I do mean a lot of breweries that you see, what I saw when I went to Adnams in Southwold was a brewery that are doing it right. Um, you're bringing people into Southwold, which creates, which is good for the community and that. It's so not just about the pubs, the brewery shop, brewery tours, and that. And, and you know, and on art, absolutely amazed at what they do. And, uh, and that's why it's gone in the neon raptor glass. I'm really proud as a Nottingham person, although neon raptor actually formerly came from Derby, but I won't hold that against them. But I'm really proud of what Neon Raptor do in Nottingham as well. And a Neon Raptor Adnams collab. Oh, classic brewery, craft brewery together. What a beer they could make. Um, Imperial Broadside. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That'd be amazing. So anyway, uh, like I say, really quite a dark pool. Well, not black, but quite dark. Poor. Certainly a nuttiness on the aroma on this. Chocolatey nuttiness. Ooh. Quite the moment for me, you know. Um, Whenever we go away, we all take something from our holidays. I've had a lot of great holidays over the years. And uh, we've had two uh, local holidays in the UK. One, one in October, one in March. October was Scarborough, Filey, Bridlington. Never got to Whitby. Wanted to do Whitby. We did do York. We went on the worst day ever to go to York because there was a chuffing marathon on. So I never got to Brew York, which absolutely ribs me. Um, and as a beer person, I, I want to go to these. I mean, um, <clears throat> I'm not going down that route. <laughs> I'm trying to stop myself before I say anything about Nottingham beer community. No, I'll put a zip on it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit like Nottingham camera. <laughs> yeah I've got my thoughts on, on that you know it's obviously a click and uh, yeah Raggy's Beers is not part of that click although I've seen that some people are and it's like yep okay it is what it is it's, uh, you know it's going to annoy me and uh, I need to get over it quickly but anyway um, try and be a professional beer reviewer Although I'm not, obviously. Of 
Because to be professional, you need to be paid. Hey, be paid. So. Wow. Feeling that kick of ABV. I know it's only 4.1%. Wow. Really feeling it. I'm making me proper sleepy. So, you know, basically a mild beer. And uh, old ale, Adnan's. Wow. And these guys keep taking me back to school. I like it. I do. Um, like I say, that day we went down there, walked down, and we were there, and it was a miserable bugger of a day. And it's like, oh, God, this is going to be a crap day. You know, you're there, you park the car, and you think, oh, Jesus Christ. We looked left, and we thought, oh, no. It's going to be a really crap day. And my mate Andy, he was, he was at the side of me, and he says, I'm not feeling this. <laughs> Or something along them lines, at least. And uh, and to both our, our um, you know, it really was so, so much better than we envisioned. Um, for me, I managed to get in about 11 different beers, that I've, and many that I've never had before. Cask and keg. Uh, it would have been nice to go through the wines and the spirits. Uh but we was only day there for the day. It definitely is um, a, an overnight stop. Early get there, overnight stop. Um, maybe two overnight stops if you want to get all the lot in. You know, if you want to get wines and spirits in as well as beers. Uh, and then obviously go to the brewery shop and then get the rest of the whatever you haven't had. As a beer reviewer, you know, you want to get the creds. And as a theme park fan, a roller coaster is a cred. So for a beer reviewer, a beer, wine, spirit, whatever it is, is a cred. And, uh, you know, if we're talking, you know, a credit, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so you go to a pub and, you know, you're looking at their, the range a bit, a tap room, so we say. And you look at the range of stuff they do and you think, right, I want, I want to do the bar. Yep. Whether I can do the bar in thirds, halves, or in pints even. Not really pints. Jesus Christ. You know. I like a drink, but I can't handle my drink that well. And you may have well noticed. You know, I start rattling. A multi, an old-fashioned multi sensation of a beer. Uh, certainly, the chocolate flows around, and that bite of nuttiness just comes in at the end. Sometimes I just sound like some. There's beer reviewers out there, good beer reviewers that I've seen, and they come out of that sort of stuff. And I look and think, I can't do that. And then when I start talking that way, it's funny, isn't it? You know, it makes me laugh even. And uh, yeah, yeah. I need to be in their presence to say who they are. But uh, craft beer festival this weekend. Um, looking forward to that Nottingham craft beer festival. Looking forward to see the breweries that come down. Literally wanting to, you know, um, and hoping I've got the pennies to do it as well. Um, do lots of different breweries. But what I am looking at. If for the channel is doing guest bear reviews from my mate, my mates are going down because we all got different uh, breweries that we like, and uh, you know, I literally can't do thirty bloody beer reviews in a day. I can't do it. You know, I'll try my best, but I can't do it. But we've got Jagman, we've got Shane, we've got Liam, we've got Obzine even. He's coming down on Saturday. And uh, and I'm sure between us we can all crank out the beer reviews, and it's a good way to give back to the beer world, um, whether they appreciate it or not. Well, there's another thing, and uh, yeah, certainly the local scene don't seem to bother. But there you go. <laughs> So 
So, wow, that was delicious. I'm ready for some food. I'm also tired. But um, Adnan's video Fisherman on. Uh, theme Park World Ride, Charlotte will be very happy. Although, he's got a yellow here. She has a yellow jacket. So, yeah, it won't be the same thing for her. Bless her. Um, but, yeah, really dark pour. Chocolate. Hint of nuttiness. Big malty beer. And that's what it is. 4.1%. It hits me harder than what the 4.1% is. Um, you know, more than 5% to 5.5 for me. If I was looking at, if I was thinking, of what's the percentage? And sometimes that's where beer hits you harder than percentages. You know, some of us can drink a 13% and it hits you no harder than a 5%. Never mind the real ABV content. It's how it hits you. Um... And that's where we're all very, very different in this world of beer drinking. Uh, for me, good 4.3 out of 5. Um, and my final uh, beer from the Adnams trip. And uh, what a beer. What a cracker. Um, yeah, quite the moment. Had a fantastic time down there. And uh, although on the way back, what is it with, with bloody... Um, roundabouts on the way back from Southwold to Great Yarmouth. Jesus Christ, there's more roundabouts than I've seen in my life. And every bloody signpost has got this on, yeah? And it's like, are we going this, this way or that way? And uh, yeah. yeah, I'm guilty of that because I was the one saying it. But uh, yeah, this way. <laughs> But uh, it was a laugh nonetheless. Thank you for watching. Uh, did I say? Did I give a score? 4.2? 4 4.3? 4 it doesn't matter. It was really nice anyway. Thank you for watching. See you later.